Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. I am the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day which the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Kahakudash, double unto the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well, who teach this gospel and push this gospel of folk into the earth. Peace and citations of hope elect of the house of Israel, the tabernacle of David, Shabbat Shalom, for today is the Sabbath. Now the inspiration for this video comes to me on behalf of the pagan holiday today that is being celebrated across Spiritual Babylon, spiritual some spiritual Egypt, better known as America. And that holiday, <clears throat> notice it didn't say holy day, because it's not a holy day. It is a holiday. <laughs> as in Hollywood holiday, okay. <clears throat> now that pagan day that is being celebrated upon... Uh, the land here in America today is Mother's Day. And um, one thing I want to definitely tell you right now and say to you is that this is pagan. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> it is my intention momentarily to do a very short video going over the highlights of this day and a very short video as to why we should not be celebrating this day because it contradicts scripture. It contradicts the teachings and instruction here in the Torah. <clears throat> okay. There are only three feast days that all males must attend according to the Bible, the Torah. And that is Passover, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles. <clears throat> okay. And Mother's Day ain't nowhere in that bunch. Okay. Does not exist. Okay. So without further ado, I would like to uh, get started with this lesson. Um, again, this lesson is not to make me a long lesson. It's a lesson that is that I will introduce scriptures and precepts to you that will help you to understand how it contradicts the word of Yahweh Bashim Okay? And then later on this evening, <clears throat> before the close of the day, the start of a new day at sundown, I will probably deliver a more in-depth lesson, okay, on this because it won't be long. In another month, we have Father's Day coming up. And then for some people in some places of worship, um, they will also host and celebrate Children's Day again. All of these are pagan. So without further ado, let's put up a few precepts and then we'll get right into it. As you can see here, our opening precepts, Psalm 118, 24. This is the day which Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I specifically did not read the word Lord there because Lord comes to us from the word Baal or Baal, okay, which is Baalim, that's plural, that's many false gods, okay. <clears throat> so I specifically inserted the name of Yahweh by Shem there because it is what should be there, <clears throat> okay. And let me bring that up right now for you. Now, I've been having some issues with my phone here lately. And uh, my blue letter Bible is not fitting to screen. 
So, um, <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why I would tend to more, um, start with the KJV 1611 version. But if I need to study a word, or study the root word, I will have no other choice but to go into the blue letter Bible. So just bear with me as I go through these scriptures in the blue letter, okay? I'm just asking you. Father, I thank you for all things. Okay, now. Let's go into the blue letter Bible right quick. And, um, blue letter Bible, as you can see there. You see, it's not even my starter screen, but I can work with it. I'm just so familiar with the way that I normally will utilize the software. Let's get uh, Isaiah 42 and 8 again. And you will see there. Um, actually, it's lock in. Let's, let's, let's go back. Let's look up the word Baal and Baalim. You will see as to why. Baal. Okay. And Baal, as you can see there on my screen and on your screen right above my keyboard, you see Baalim. You see, <clears throat> but you see, but all you see, Bible. Interesting thing about them, interesting thing about those three words, they're all very extremely related. <laughs> but ball is the root word of the word Babylon. You know, that Babylon spoken of the tower thereof, the tower of Babel, spoken of in Genesis chapter 11 when Yahweh by Shemir Rashad came down to destroy, but the people had built the the tower and the city that they wanted to build, reaching up into heaven, spoken of also in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 through, uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 through about maybe a little more than 17, between the 12th verse and the 17 to 18 verses. As you can see there, that prophecy is spoken that their tower and their city will be brought down as it was brought down in the Genesis chapter 11. Ecclesiastes 1, now where his bench will be again. But there's nothing new under the sun. Okay. So definitely you want to note that. Now, let's look at the word by all right quick. I'm going to study that word. And you're going to see, begin to notice as to why I substitute Yahweh by Shema Rishai instead of the word Lord. Okay, let's go to, uh, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, Go to Judges 2, verse 13, where you see by all there. And again, I will do a more in-depth lesson because those precepts that, that were listed on your screen, when I when I begin to look for the word be all, slaki <coughs> but all, those precepts uh, I had already had prescribed for the in-depth lesson on this evening. So we will get with we will get to that lesson, Lord willing. And uh, we will get a more in-depth study. Now, what I'd like to do <clears throat> is I would like to click on that scripture there. And let's look up the word Baal. Okay, here it is right here. It comes from the Hebrew. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let's hear it in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 1168. Baal, Baal, and the form just below that, Baal, Baal. Okay. Now, um, <clears throat> as you can see there, let's enhance the screen a little. Okay, as you can see there, first definition, outline of biblical usage, Baal, or Baal, is Lord. That's what it means. L, cap, and notice notice its spelling. Lowercase l. Lowercase o, lowercase r, lowercase d. Okay? So, sometimes you remember some of those uh, medieval movies we would watch back in the day. Maybe something like, um, I'm just, I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing out some names or titles of movies that we are familiar with. Movies like Conan the Barbarian and, um, <laughs> um, something to that effect. Anything with Grace Jones in it. 
dress as a barbarian, something like that. One of those, some of those older movies like that. Um, you will hear there'll be the people in the movie will be in a big castle or something like that, and they'll be walking around with all this chivalry and all these big robes on and boots and chivalry and dressed as a knight or something like that. And they'll come around the corner and they'll say, um, where is the girl? Or something like that. He, and, and you might hear someone say, uh, I will go and fetch her, my lord. Okay. I will go and get her, my lord. Okay. So that, that word is in reference to a man at all costs. Okay. Because even, here's another one that we are familiar with. Um, Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars. You notice Darth Vader is also referred to in the movie sometimes as Lord Vader. Okay, so, and Lord Vader is a what, man? You know, he, I mean, yeah, he has a, because in the movie he was burned, that's why he wore that, that mask and whatnot, but he walked like a man on two feet, he swung his arms and he spoke like a man, okay? And when he took that mask off, you could definitely see he was a man. Now, but getting back to where we were at here now, as you can see there, by all means, Lord, supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians and the Canaanites, okay? All right. So now, uh, let's come here as well, see if we can get something out of that. Um, again, especially Lord, specifically as divine name, but all. Okay, we know that. But, but they all is a <coughs> false god. We also know that Baalim is plural. That L-I-M, that's plural. So that's many false gods, okay? And even right now, you think, when you think of in reference to America, Babylon, the Greek, what do you have? Christmas. Um, <laughs> um, Easter. Okay. Um, all those holidays that are, are served and are sacrificed to and are celebrated in America, Babylon the Great, is what? They're all false gods. Look at Easter. Easter says, according to Easter, a bunny, a rabbit, shall I say, which is an unclean animal, is laying eggs. Uh, what? Then the, the, the then, wait a minute now, hold on now, hold on, wait a minute now, hold on. Then the animal... It's chocolate, made of chocolate, which children love to eat. And not only children, but uh, people love to eat chocolate. So now you are eating, you are consuming a, 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 an unclean animal by way of something that you could eat. All of that is confusion. And confusion, that word confusion is what? Babel, which is what? The root word for Babylon. Where do we live at right now in America? Babylon. So they have many, many false gods, and I know that wasn't too clear of an example, but I just wanted to highlight that so you can begin to understand that America is loaded with all kinds, all kinds of false god worship. Okay, and they'll put money into it, and they'll make money, and they'll make big money. I wonder, do anybody ever go out and thank the rabbit? Hell no. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, does anybody speak rabbit? Um, just inside joke there. Now, but. So let's get let's get a few more of scriptures. We're gonna to begin to shut the video down. I didn't want this to be a long lesson at all. I just wanted to cover a few topics. Uh, let's go to Joshua twenty four fifteen. <clears throat> let's go back to um, I don't have any scriptures prepared. I do have a few scriptures written down. But um, I like to pull most of my scriptures from the blue letter because it gives me an opportunity to study a word or study the root. I will probably uninstall the app and reinstall the app. Um, let's get it here. Joshua 24, verse 15. If the Lord will allow it. Excuse me. Yahweh Bashim of Shah. Will allow it. Salaki. Um, Joshua 24, verse 15. Let's go into. And as you can see there, in that scripture. The word Lord is capital L-O-R-D, okay? 
It's just over time, there's some words that I try to get away from. I try to speak those words the way those words were written in the Torah. You know, that's why from time to time you see, um, <clears throat> from time to time you will notice that when I speak the word God, I usually won't say God. I usually will say our power. Because Deuteronomy 8.18 tells me it is God that giveth thee the power to get wealth. So if all my hope and my strength and my power come from him, then I'm going to announce it as so. Okay? So now, and then from time to time, there's certain scriptures that are familiar to us that comes from our Christian, our roots here in false God, false worship, worshiping altars made of wood and stone. That would represent the cross, which represents Christianity. So there are certain particular scriptures that we have heard, and they're so super familiar to us. Until from time to time, I will just state the word God, so that it will ring a bell back to you from when you used to hear back in the day, when you were in those of us who were actively involved trying to um, plug in and learn scriptures and and and, and read our word daily. Okay, so now, <clears throat> let's get back to it. Let's go to Joshua 23, 14, and 15. Let's go here. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Yahweh uh, Let's continue on. So I want to get a little bit more on that. Verse 16. And the people answered and said, Our power forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord, our power, <coughs> he is... <coughs> Slocky. Let's start again. For the Lord, our power... He it is that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage, and which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us <clears throat> in all the way wherein we went and among all the people through whom we passed. Okay, so right then and there, that's clear instruction. Choose who you will serve. Will you serve the gods? Will you serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? His name is Yahweh by Shem Okay? And Yahweh means, <clears throat> Yahweh is the name of my father, creator in ancient Hebrew. Yah means he is. Hawa means he to be, he exists. By Hashem in the name. Yahweh Shai, the name of our Lord and our Savior in ancient Hebrew. Who the first first to is Jesus. Yahweh Shai means he is our salvation, our deliverer in ancient Hebrew. Choose who you will serve. Will you serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Or will you serve and participate and worship and buy into and sacrifice to these false gods? <coughs> okay? Now, Mother's Day. Okay? There's not one scripture in the Bible that call any day Mother's Day or Father's Day or Children's Day. These day, these are the days that the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, has made. Even going back to <clears throat> Genesis chapter 1. Let's go there right quick. Okay. Right quick. In Genesis chapter 1, notice something about these, these days that were made. Just, just let's, let's go there right quick. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning... The Allah Hayyam created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2. And the earth was without form, void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The earth was without form and void simply because <clears throat> there was no order in it. 1 Corinthians 14. For let all things be done decently and in order. 2 Ezra 6 and 9. Idumia is the end of this world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right now we are keeping our minds focused on a kingdom to come. Where the children of Israel will have a continuing city. Actually an everlasting city. Okay? 
And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Darkness represents evil. Study that strong concordance. And was upon the face of the deep. Notice it says face, F-A-C-E. Didn't say surface. It says face. Okay. Face of the deep. Who is in the deep? Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 through 16. Idumia. Okay. Lucifer, which is the, uh, we, we find out in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 16, that Lucifer is a man. Those are those individuals bearing false light. They are ill-illuminated. Ill means not. Illuminate means light. So they have no light. What is the light? John 8 and 12, Yahweh Shai spake and said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? No man comes to the Father but by me. That's why from time to time you will always hear, recognize, you will always hear me say, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh I can't just come out and say Yahweh Shai. I cannot come out and say Yahweh Shai in anything, even though the scriptures that we were reading earlier. I can't just come out and say Yahweh Shai because, it, it, because we, we, we are reconciled back to Yahweh, our Father, but by who? Yahweh Shai. Okay? He is the ultimate sacrifice. So we must make mentions of both of them. Why? Because we are returning back to Yahweh, our Father Creator, but by way of who? Yahweh Shai. The Holy Spirit comes from Yahweh, but who's in charge of it? Yahweh Shai. <laughs> John 14, 26. But my Father shall send the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring back to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So, we definitely have, as you can, as you can see, as you can see, these precepts teach us the ways of Yahweh Shemim Shah, and they help us return back to his ways, okay? Ecclesiastes 12, 13. This is the whole conclusion of the matter. Fear our power. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man. One of my favorite precepts, Psalm 119, 104. Through thy precepts I gain understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Precepts of scriptures. So that's why we recommend to meditate on the word day and night. That's why we commanded to study to ourselves and approve pursuant to 2 Timothy 2.15. That's why he commands us to, to read daily, pursuant to Luke 4 and 4. Because as you continue to read more and more and more and more and more, you are now beginning to understand what Yahweh Shemim Shah wants, what he's looking for, what's important to him. Okay? You're also beginning to understand the mind, his mind, the things that are on his mind, the things that are important to him. Okay, and what he commands us to do every day as we walk upon this earth, okay, as we're looking for a kingdom to come, pursuing the Daniel 7, 13, and 14. So now, let's get back here. I didn't mean to ramble on about that, but um, it was on my heart and it was heavy, so I, I, I put it out. Okay, now, as you can see here, um, uh, let's let's continue to read. I'm just going to keep reading here. Uh, well, actually, I'm just going to highlight this because my will be long. You know, it should be out of power. Okay. Um. If you, as you can see in Genesis one and five, and our power called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now notice it said first day. It didn't say Sunday. It didn't say Monday. It didn't say Saturday. Why didn't it not say that? Because those are names of false gods. What is the first day of the week? Let's see. The new moon came in last Saturday at sundown. So if it came in last Saturday at sundown, then that Saturday, you know, a day begins in the evening, right? So a day begins in the evening, right? So a day began last Saturday at sundown was the first day of the new week. Why? Because that's the new moon. The Sabbath is determined by the new moon. Okay? So, now, 
and that day will end Sunday evening at sundown, right before sundown, that day ends. Okay, so Sunday evening at sundown is day two of the week, and so on and so forth. So right now, we're in the Sabbath now, okay? This is, this is a new day of the week, okay? Now, it just so happens to be Sunday, but last, I believe last month, when the new moon was in, I believe the new moon came in on a Thursday. Okay, so that Thursday was day one of the week. And every Thursday after that is a, is, is, is a brand new Sabbath. Okay, okay so now. But as you can see there um, in uh, Genesis 1 and uh, one and 5, and the evening and the morning were the first day. So day begins in the evening. Not midnight, not 6 a.m. A day begins in the evening. How do I know? Let's go back to Genesis 1 and 2 and then we'll move on. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Now, darkness means evil, yes. Okay? It means evil. But also, darkness was upon the face of the deep. And, um... <clears throat> And the spirit of our power moved upon the face of the water. The spirit of our power is what? The Holy Spirit moved upon the face, F-A-C-E, of the water. So water is his people. And, but in, in, in the strong concordance here, it's going to say brother of water. So the Holy Spirit was moving upon the hopeful elect. Right then and there in the very beginning. They were the first fruits to Yahweh Hashem and So they were the first. They, 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 they also, the the... the the men, women, and children who take part in the first resurrection. But they're the first fruits to our power. Okay, now. <clears throat> so, um, let me, let me, uh, uh, go here to, um, <clears throat> verse 8. And our power called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Notice it, it, it didn't send them on Monday. He wasn't didn't call no days a week. Why? Those names, those names are representative of false gods. Okay, I believe Monday got his name from uh, the moon. Okay. Um, um. Also, moon in Hebrew means must. Okay. All right. Moon means must. Uh, Tuesday is a false god. There's that, that, I mean, I, I, I really need to spend a while since I did a video on that. Okay, did much of the year and whatnot. And, you know, um, I know Saturday, no, I'm sorry, Thursday is, uh, is, uh, Thor. T-H-O-R, Thor. Okay, um, false god. Um, and, uh, Saturday is, is the worship of Saturn. False God, okay, and Sunday is worshiping the sun, as in sun worship, as in the eye of Horus. Look it up, look it up, look it up. So anyway, um, I didn't want to spend too much time on this. I know I really haven't gotten, uh, uh, uh okay. Um, let's go to Joshua twenty three six and seven. <clears throat> Ever my phone doing? I think it's time for me to get a new phone. I hate to get one now, but um, so late in the game, but uh, <laughs> I just might have to do it. Um, Joshua twenty three six and seven. Let's go to that creek. Um, like I say, you know, I said on yesterday, I did one of my videos I did yesterday morning. There are many of us who listen to sound of my voice who are aware of these truths. Okay, but there are also many of us who are still that who have just been recently awakened to the knowledge of the truth of Bihar Rashim and Rashad. And every little tidbit helps them to understand their truth and return back into their heritage. So 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 sometimes it seems like I might babble on a little bit. You know, I try to babble on with scripture. So sometimes I'll do that because I know, you know, every little bit helps, you know. So anyway, Joshua 23 and 6. Be ye therefore very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that ye turn not aside therefrom, 
to the right hand or to the left. <clears throat> that ye come not among these nations, these that remain among you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, <laughs> nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow yourselves unto them, but cleave unto the Lord your power as ye have done unto this day. Okay. Alright. So I went over those precepts because those precepts are in worship to when the children of Israel entered into this land. Okay, we were to keep the law, statutes, commandments, and ordinances and be how by Shemel Rashad to the best of our ability because we're in captivity. We're not able to keep all laws 100% perfect according to the Torah. But, you know, but that, you know, let's take it with a grain of salt simply because we know we're in captivity. We know we're not able to keep all the laws, statutes, commandments, and ordinances. But according to Judges 5 11, we're here to rehearse the right, righteous acts of the law. So even if there's something that, I, that I'm not able to do, um, if I'm called into work on the Sabbath, I go into prayer um, at sundown. Uh, bringing in the Sabbath. Um, and, I, you know, from that point, I will do some reading. I will catch up on videos, uh, whatnot, whatever the case is. Um, and then when I turn in, when I turn in from that point, I'll have the opportunity at that point to um, enter into prayer that next morning. And I will discuss with you how much, not discuss, but I will tell him that I'm aware that the day is just happening. But, um, and then I might have tried to get out of work as much as I could, but, you know, I need to, you know, I, I, everybody's not going to be able to get out of work. Okay? But I go to him and express that. I go to him in prayer and I express that. I will bring those precepts and express that to let him know that I know that this is not right. Okay, so anyway. But um, I'm going to try to stand back in so I can finish this up. Now, as you can see there, now, he says, we should not make mention of the name of their gods, okay? And what are the names of their gods here? I mean, there are many, Lord knows. <laughs> there are many, 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 okay? But in this sense right here, right now, this Mother's Day crap, okay? I mean, it has no place. It's not listening to the Bible. It is a pagan holiday. And I will go into more in depth of that with the lesson this evening, um, whatnot. But um, that's simply what it is. Okay, so we know it is not mentioned in our law for us to recognize or keep it. So why recognize or keep it? Case in point, about maybe two hours ago, a friend of mine, <coughs> um, and I say a friend of mine because we work together from time to time, what not? Every now and then I stop in at her house on the stay a few minutes. You know, we used to kick it back in the day, but she's a two third. You know, um, you know, if I come to her and I and I try to find out, you know, what the workload is for this week, or you know, because I used to work pretty heavily at the lady's house that she used to, that she works at now. Um, what not? But now my uh, I've divested. I've divested, divested, <laughs> I've divested my time and my efforts focusing more on other things that are more comparable with my uh, beliefs as of right now, okay, so, um, cause she's an Edomite, the lady she works for is an Edomite, um, but from time to time she'll call me up and she'll ask me to come in and do things that she know I can do and get it done, I won't be hounding her for money, I'll be going and get the job done. You know, stuff like that. So, and she called here this morning, and she has to speak to my mom. Wish her a happy Mother's Day. Okay, um, so my mom was had not gotten up yet, but I did not wish her a happy Mother's Day. Why? Because I know that's a false god. I know it's pagan. It doesn't have anything to do with Yahweh or Shemir Okay, so you know. So uh, anyway. I just want to bring that those those few precepts to your attention again. I didn't want to do the lesson be as long as it has been. But uh, I definitely wanted to bring it to your attention because today, um, those of us who are who have just been awakened to it to, to uh, the knowledge of the truth of Bihar Bashim Shah, 
you know, um, some of us have not, some of those individuals have, have come out of the church. Some of them are, are, are returning back to their heritage and returning back to the scriptures and returning back to the law, statutes, and manners of the hour by Shemir Rashad, but they might get caught up in being invited to something today. Okay, <laughs> something family related, you know. I mean, if you have family down and you haven't seen them in a long while and you, and you or maybe some kids or cousins, something like that or whatever the case is, try to call them, okay? Um, if you are in a position where you know a favorite aunt is home that you haven't seen in a long time and the aunt's been asking about you or something like that, um, if that aunt is going to be down here past tomorrow, past sundown, okay, fine. You know, but you, 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 there's nothing wrong with going over there and seeing them, but, uh, whatnot, but, you know, just make your, make your, your visit. You know, make, don't be trying to be over there all day. Because if you try to be over there all day, what's going to happen is, you know, these individuals have demons on them. Okay, either demons of incorrect speech, corrupt communication. The Bible says that no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Proceed out of your mouth, lock it. Or whatnot. Or next thing you know, somebody be around the corner lighting up something or drinking something. And you, you be in the car with them. <laughs> See? So, you know, you'll be going into air, you'll be going off. So, you know, um, you know, but uh, that's that, that that's the, those things that you want to keep in mind, okay? Um, a lot of times I tell people, like, when the pagan holiday Thanksgiving come up and they got family home and they want to see family they ain't seen, especially after the sticky icky over the last two years, um, you know, whatnot. Um, most of the people will come down and get here and be here for about a week, you know, you going to see them on any other day other than that pagan holiday or Thanksgiving, that's fine, you know. I mean, I don't even eat turkey or anything like that on those days. I mean, I'd bake some chicken, you know. I mean, you know, but anyway, you know, so that's what we want to do. We we just don't, we don't want to be in that broad direction what everybody else is doing on that day. Why? Because... All of those people in your area, all these people in my area where I reside at right now, everybody's, every, believe me, the word Mother's Day is going to come out of their mouth at least 30 times a day. And they will be ma be making mentioning of those gods. Okay? All right? So, without further ado, all the testament and the fine has come to the honor, glory, and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Rishab, Bashem, Kadash. Double unto the elders and apostles, great millstone, who well, peace and sanity and so for that. Um, today is the Sabbath day, and in the Sabbath we are going to do what? We are going to worship and give honor and glory and praises to Yahweh by Shem Yavashai, by Shem Yavashai, don't have anything to do with Mother's Day. Because that's a false god of spiritual Egypt, spiritual Solomon. Spiritual Babylon, which is America. Right now, we are separating. Yahweh Hashem Yavashai is separating us, bringing us back to our heritage as to who we are in the earth, what should we should be doing in the earth. So, we should not be making any mention of these things. You know, whatnot. I mean, we live in households with two-thirds that still celebrate those things, but that don't mean you need to be actively involved in it. Okay? I mean, at the same time, we know we must use balance with things, you know. Because, I mean, if you got kids and they want to go through and see this lady and all this all that, your mama and your grandmama down and all that, you know what I'm saying? They leave it at night or something like that, you know, you got to use balance, you know. I mean, so, and I see, when I say use balance, you can take them out and see them, okay? They want to see them. You not talk to them on the phone, but they want to see them. So, you can take them out and see them, but, you know, I mean... And if your but if your mama come along and she come with you and she got a card and it's a happy Mother's Day card, come on over here and sign this. <laughs> now that'd be going off, okay? Because you are supporting the you're supporting the whole operation, okay? So again, I hope this lets me to find uh, double honor to the elders and possible great millstone peace, peace and peace and scientists to hope elect Shabbat Shalom.